Like, I don't need to deal with these people. I'm trying to get to the pro side of things. Well, there's divisions you gotta go through. There's the bronze division. I know, division. but I wanna... How do there's I get into the long division? division? Oh. Everyone go for the north lane. I wanna get... I wanna <laughs> learn the long division. I've never learned that. <laughs>Hey guys, just so I, I don't make any mistakes in here, what's, uh, what's your pronouns? Just when I call your names properly. What's your pronouns? I don't believe in none of that bull crap. Well, you don't have to believe it. I'm just asking you what yours is. Nope, don't so if you could just tell me crap. and quit being difficult, that'd be great. They should make everyone sign a contract before they can own a gun. What's that going to do? Well, if you sign a contract saying that you won't commit a mass shooting or suicide with it, then... You'll be okay to have a gun. Well, everyone will know that everything's fine because you signed the contract. You see what I mean? No. So you think that you'd just be able to buy a gun without any yeah. consequences whatsoever? My family's owned <clears throat> firearms for a couple generations now, and we've never had any issues with them. Right, like but just because you haven't doesn't mean that other people don't have people problems, like you know? Sexuals and whoever else, they get them, and they do what they do. That comes back bad on the real <laughs> firearm owners. Right, but I mean, it's, it'll only take you five minutes to sign a contract. Most people don't even read them; just sign it. You know. And what happens? And what happens? Let's say what happens if you ha sign a contract, right, between you and a company, and you agree to do a job, right? And the company you you work for doesn't get paid or something, right? You can sue yeah, that right, company. Right, I'm following. Right. And you don't get paid. You can sue. You you break the contract because that company doesn't get paid. You break. Was the there a contract that was signed? Yes. By all parties. Then I wouldn't yes. get broken. You can't break the yeah. contract. Yeah, because you didn't get paid. It happens all the time with my fucking sister-in-law. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. I I just walked into then, the fucking. I just walked into the fucking conversation. I gotta tell you, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, but you can't. You can't just. Then your sister's probably not signing the contract. You need to tell yeah, her to sign the contract, the contract and date it. I she has signed the contract. You're just a fucking idiot. Did she date it? Sign and date? Yeah, she did date it. You're just a fucking idiot. You don't know what the fuck it's yeah, I, See, I, I have a hard time believing that because if she if she signed the contract, then it wouldn't have been void. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean because you're a fuck. It's like, if I, if I want to buy a gun... And I sign a contract saying that I'm not going to kill myself or commit a mass shooting. I can't do that because I signed the contract. And you can't break, you can't void the contract. The contract stands. We've tried laws. Laws don't work. You know what I mean? What is your pro You guys are arguing with a guy that's got a... I'm, I'm talking about the guy that just chimed in about the contracts, but he didn't, he didn't announce who he was. Or what his pronouns are. I'm not going to sit here and get people's pronouns wrong. Because he doesn't want to say it at the beginning before he starts talking. From now on, new rule. From now on, before you start talking, announce what your pronouns are. I told you we don't believe in none of that pronoun bull crap. You don't get to speak for everybody else. You don't get to speak for everybody else. Okay, we're going to lose. No, we're not. That's your YouTube channel. We're going to lose. I don't have a YouTube channel, pal, so... Not you, the other idiot. Oh. Scruffy Bumpkin? Whoever the guy is that didn't announce us, what's your pronouns? Mine is called fucking you up. In reality, we don't need him. Yeah, who, me? You hear what I'm saying. Yeah, but are you talking to me? Does sucking dick make you deaf? Huh? They can read, and I'm they pretty can sure the law is, is if you have kids, you have to keep your rifles in a lockbox. What does that so have to do So if you have kids, anything? you have to keep... Well, because if you have a lock on it, then you gotta tell the Mr. Robber, say, Hey, look, hold on a second. I have kids. My gun is in the lockbox to protect my kids. Hold on a minute before you shoot me. Let me unlock my safe and grab my gun. You see well, what I mean? I, and if it's a nice robber, dogs. if it's a nice robber, maybe he'll let you unlock your safe. But if he's not a nice robber, guess what? Well, that's why if you don't have your gun on you at all times, it's really not for protection. It's it's for something else, like, over, I don't know, overcompensating for something else? Like, for me, I know karate, so I don't need a gun. Not you can just learn karate that. and then get rid of your guns. 
what so, I consider locked up and what you consider locked up are two different things. So if the robber shows up and your gun's inside the house, then what? And you're outside. This is what I'm well, saying. You I gotta keep. Don't. Unless, unless you know karate, you gotta keep that gun on you at all times. What's karate gonna do? Um, you're talking to a karate master right now. Well, that's not gonna do much. There's... It, it is. So, since I know karate, if a guy pulls a gun out on me, I would dodge the bullet, then side jack him right in the mouth. You see what I mean? No, you wouldn't. And he wouldn't. He wouldn't know what to do. Movies. Oh. Hold on, before you side in jack movies. me in the mouth again, let me reload. You see what I'm saying? No, that, That's that why only happens in movies. Uh, that's why it's important for people to just learn karate and then you wouldn't need a gun. Well, that's not going to do nothing. It is, I just what told you what would happen. What is the real purpose of karate? Because you can dodge bullets and then side jack the dude in the mouth. That's Did, not gonna do have, nothing. Have you never seen Cobra Kai? Uh, I don't think Do you I have, have Netflix? Do you have Netflix? Uh, I... No, yeah, do me I a favor. What I want you to do for Netflix. homework is I want you to watch Cobra Kai. And then come if back on here tomorrow. Netflix subscription. And then come back on here tomorrow and tell me what you learned about karate. If you're my, my Netflix subscription, sure. What happens if you get a swarm of bees on your land? What do you do? Mm, bees aren't something I usually worry about. If you well, what if you get a the swarm? Bees, the bees don't hurt you. Well, why would they do that? I've never it had any be hornets. bees come hornets after me assholes. before. Well, I don't have hornets. As long as you keep everything relatively clean, you get black widows in the wood pile every once in a while, but... You just gotta watch your hands. So what if you get a swarm of black widows? Well, Those they don't really poisonous. travel in groups. They don't travel in groups. Uh. You okay? Yeah, I was wrecking somebody. You get bears that come on the property during the winter time, or in the summertime, I mean. They'll come in yeah, here. Yeah, bears they'll... hibernate in the winter. Yeah, they hibernate. I've shot warning shots in there. That scares them off. I'm usually. pretty sure black widows travel in herds. Whatever. I don't think you know as much as you think you know. Once, because once you, once you see, it's like an ant. If you see just one ant, there's more not far behind it. Because ants travel in herds yeah. too. They live in a colony. They don't, they don't live in herds or whatever you want to call it. What have you come across the school of black widows? Oh, I don't know. That's not something that you have to worry about because they don't travel in groups or whatever, herds. Me personally, I'm a lone wolf, so I'm more dangerous. I don't have to worry about my left, right, or behind me. Whatever. I just have to face what's in front. If you think you know? so and that's what you believe, then go ahead and believe it. I had to go to Japan and get my arms and legs broken to get my 10th degree black belt. What's that for? So that your bones heal back stronger. Well, yeah, what so like, say that you were, for? Sit for karate. Say you were shooting at me, right? And it hit my right yeah. femur bone. It's not even going to puncture it because the bone's been broken. Healed back with calcium deposit. It's twice as strong as a normal bone. Well, yeah, you could... So your bullet... If you drink milk, yeah. Your bullet wouldn't even go through my bone, is what I'm saying. Well, that very is possible. Tenth degree you black belt That's the power of the human body. That's the power of the human body. If you take care of it well, it's a real machine. What if you what if you came across a flock of black widows? Whatever. That's something you stay away from. That's why you gotta keep your eyes open out here. If you keep your eyes open, you really don't but have if, much to worry about. If you are a ten three black belt, you'd be able to sense it. I don't think you're telling the truth to be honest. I think you're bullshitting is what. I know no people eyes. who Why would I, do I that? know people who've done jujitsu and yeah, whatever other martial art. Wrestling. Well yeah, what you're saying is made up. Jujitsu is the realest martial art there is. No, have you ever watched um UFC? I try not to. I Karate beats jujitsu one hundred percent of the time. What about In what world What about a murder of black widows? If you came across a murder of black widows, then what? What do you mean, they're going to murder me? What if the Black Widows brought their boyfriends or husbands? The regular Widows. They fly so then low. Then what? They don't travel in groups. Simple what as. If you, what if you were walking with your rifle and you tripped over a banana, landed into a tree, 
and it knocked all the black widow nest out of the tree. Then what? They don't live in trees, pal. They live in wood piles. You know, they other little nooks and crannies they can get into, they live in. But they have a they have a nest, though. So where all they their little may. buddies are hanging out, ready to pounce. They might, but they got better things to worry about. Wolverines, what if you came across whatever. a congress of black widows? You know what I mean? What about all, all widows matter? What about the white widows? What about the brown whatever. widows? I'm not listening what to What if they decided, hey, we're not going to play this black, white, brown game anymore. They all team up. They see you with a rifle. You got one shot. You're not going to kill all of them. You see what I'm saying? If you were a karate master, well, you, you, there's no chance for any of the widows. It's not worth yeah. arguing with you, pal. You don't have no clue what you're talking about. What about a president of widows, if you came across some of those? No, they're pests is what they are. What about a, what about a swarm of bears? Conservationists are one of the worst groups of people there are. People who are self-sufficient are the swarm ones who are better bears? for the environment. A bear? Well, no, I was saying, what if you came across a swarm of bears? Then what? How many bullets do you have? Well, then that's something you got to worry about. But imagine if you were a karate master, the bears probably I, wouldn't even come after you because they would see the confidence on your face. They would be scared. I know these woods They're like not the scared back of a of my gun. Hand. You got one shot. I know these woods like the back of my hand. You need to check your privilege at the door is what you need to do. Whatever, pal. I'll listen to your crap if you're just going to talk stupid bull crap and waste my time. And go ahead, I'm not listening to it. Uh, I got a phone. I don't really know how to use it. It kind of just sits there on the charger. Not really a point in having it when you got all the stuff you need. Do right you have here the fast too. charger or the slow charger? It came with the box, little white cable. You gotta get, you gotta get the five amp charger, or else your phone's gonna be dead all the time. I'll look into it. I don't really and think say I'll you're out in the woods, phone dying. and you've just shot your last bullet at the swarm of widows. And all you got is your phone left, but it's dead because you tried the 2 amp charger instead of the 5 amp charger. Well, I got the charger I got. My phone's not going to die because I don't use it. I, don't well, use I understand it to that, but what I'm saying is, is you just you just need to go get the 5 amp charger and quit dicking around with the little baby charger, okay? I've got solar panels hooked up out back. I don't really have to worry about electricity. Well, I want to charge it, I'll put it on the charger. Off of your, how many amps are your solar panels? I don't know. Nine hundred and the voltage is, Amperage is actually like your horsepower. Your voltage is like your gas tank. Mm. So how many volts do you have? I don't know. You'd have to ask my electrician. They don't need maintenance. The only time you need maintenance is when it's winter and i got to shovel the snow Well, off. the batteries will need that. maintenance because you have to harness the energy somehow. The energy the batteries comes right through to here. I'm playing with you through the energy. Right. It comes right here to the TV. But the batteries don't last forever. What if a swarm of electricians came to your house, then what? what they were all I'm fighting not, over the same solar panels. I'm not putting up with this bull crap. I got bigger and better things to do. So but what would happen if a flock of electricians came to your house and they were all fighting over your five solar panels, then what would you do? Whatever. I don't and the one guy would be like, I can get more amps out of this one. Not time for this. You're not even trying to talk any sense into me. All you're doing is talking bull crap, talking about flocks of electricians and whatever else. You know damn well that those black bears travel in solo groups. I think anybody knows that. In solo groups? Is they it a group if they're solo? What if you get a murder of electricians showing up and they each, they each grab do? their own solar panel? And then what? So what? What do they want me to do about it? You get a school of electricians showing up. You got a murder of bears, black bears, polar bears, grizzly bears, all out in your backyard. The electricians can't work on your solar panel because of all the bears. What do you do then? You only have so many bullets. Whatever. I don't think you're if ready you for karate, that conversation though, yet. You just go out there and the bears will leave and then your electricians can get to work. Whatever but if you, you don't have, have the karate skills, this is where karate is important because... Karate can prevent so many things. That's not gonna happen. Like no. you could lose, you could lose all of your electricity because you're relying upon a rifle. I'm just wondering how he would chop down a tree if all of he, all he had was a rifle. At least if he knew karate, he was a karate master like myself. He could chop the tree down with his bare hands. You're full of shit, is what you are.
So what would you do oh, it's if you needed a shotgun? Practice. A rifle is not really for yeah. protection. It's just it's to make you, it's to make you feel like you've got something big in your hands. I don't think you've ever held a rifle in your life. To be oh, honest. I hold I hold a rifle every time I go pee. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, that's real funny. Real mature. <laughs> Hey, just because you hold a fucking semi-automatic pistol doesn't mean anybody's immature. You I think it's you who needs to go through puberty. What if you had a swarm of solo grouped bears outside your back door? Then what? Well, then they'd be in a group. One You're trying to play Wreckfest. The electricians one are trying to get to your solar two. panels. That's, two. That's a group. They run out of power because of all the bears, right? So now you can't mm. play Wreckfest because you have no power. All you got is your rifle, which is a single shot. That's not, but what are you gonna do with you want to believe? What about the koala bears? What if they join nah, in on it? We don't got none of them. I don't think you're thinking of all possibilities. A rifle isn't the answer. You need to learn some karate. Will you shut up, man? Whatever. I'm about done with your crap. I got better things to do than listen to you. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I try and tell me a that I don't I know what I know. Moose. I don't so what, I mean, well, with karate, you have unlimited that? range. Well, it's going to go so far. Moose, of, moose are the biggest threat out here. Be prepared. Let's keep the comms clear, okay, for the game chat. Are you talking to me? Yeah. We keep the comms clear. I don't know. You can't be having these sidebar conversations. It. You're the one who's talking to me. Conversations for the crew chiefs. I'm the only one you're talking to right now. I don't get what you're. Trying to no, tell you were just about. you were talking, talking to somebody else. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you to I'm keep the sidebar to conversations you. to yourself. You. Whatever. We don't have time for putting up with useless crap. You're gonna come to the races and you're gonna race. Exactly. Gonna That's try. why I'm trying to drive the pro league. Like I don't need to deal with these people. I'm trying to get to the pro side of things. Well, there's divisions you got to go through. There's the bronze I know, division. I know, but I want to. How do there's I get into the long division? division? Oh. Everyone going for the Northland. I want to. I want to learn the long division. I've never learned that. Why are you breathing so heavy? My pants ain't down. It's hot here. It's hot. Uh. So where do you live? I'm How do I get in touch with his girlfriend's here. husband? Is he under three hundred and fifty pounds? Because I'm not. Like I'm not sharing my food with them. Listen, if you're not going to come here and race, if you're not going to show up to the race league and actually put on a good race, then I'm not going to waste not my in the time. Race league. You're here. What are you talking what? about? The What's his favorite color? The race league. Because I use the time. black car in the race, races. Look, I here, always use the black car. Listen, if you're not going to race, then don't ask. Simple as. Everyone knows I drive the black car. So. All right, I had enough of this. Why would you bring race. someone else Hey, pal, this? leave it's some air for the burning. rest of us. We like to breathe, too. If you're not going to show up and race, then don't race. Just a quick number. How many races has your friend won? <sighs> yeah, whatever. Take a guess. How many races this. has he won? How many races 20. has he won? 20. Nah, whatever. 20? Oh, whoa, whoa buddy. Tell him to save some pussy for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> End of the day, it's none of your business.